okay guys so this is the data set i posted on the blackboard so again if you go to uh, week four scroll it all the way down you should see it there okay. so this data uh, this uh, data set is very similar to the data set uh, that you will be using for your project okay so so why don't you take like a uh, five minutes to go through the data set and at least come up with a question that you would like to ask you know any random question that comes to your mind i do have some here whatever you have we'll see whether we can do that right here you know but take like few minutes to go through the data set uh, if you go to week four and scroll it all the way down in class practice dashboard data set Yeah. Is if I sort the data a certain way to do a pivot table, yeah, and then I do another pivot table and I sort the data again, does it affect, affect the pivot table I did before? You're sorting the data, the raw data. If I sort the pivot table, what? Why you need to sort the pivot? I thought it had to be if you're doing no. it on course. Course had to be sorted. No, no, no. Only we look up. Up. Only we should doing we oh, look up. Oh, only we look up. Yes. Not the for the pivot table. You don't need to sort the data. Okay, so how about if I did, I did two pivot charts now? How about if I did something with the build up now? Yeah, yeah you can do that. Will it affect the tables I did previously? We look up, I need to see how will you be using it. Okay, so I'm afraid yeah. to sort the data because I don't know who would never buy the chart. Yeah, you, usually you should never touch the raw data. Okay. Usually, you know, that's the thing. You should, as far as possible, don't do any sorting, filtering on the so main data set. Look up, do I just have to copy the data set to use the uh, I need to see what kind of VLOOKUP you're going to be using before I can say much, you know. So, so what, for example, what you can do is in the actual data set, if you're adding additional column using VLOOKUP, you can do that. And that column becomes part of the data set now. Yeah, so and yeah, so once you uh, so make sure whatever analysis you're going to do, it's going to be based on once you create all those data because once you create those columns that will be part of your data set okay. Mm -hmm. okay guys so this looks like some sale data so we have order date order priority order quantity sale that should be amount discount ship mode profit unit price shipping cost customer name province region Customer segment, product categories, right? Product subcategory, product name, then you have product container, product base margin, and ship date. Right? So, so any sales data, you know, the first thing managers always wanted to know is uh, how your sales are doing over the period of years, right? So every year, you know, so that's a very typical thing. I want to see the total sale for the last three or four years. Right, and probably what I can do is I can do a little what do we call thermometer chart there. So, for example, what if our manager expected us to show increase of five percent from the previous year? So, are we meeting that expectation? So that can you know that can be shown right here. So, here is what I'm gonna do. This is my data set. First screen I'm gonna say is I'm gonna add screen here. Okay. Yeah say okay here and this will be my let's say uh, what I'm gonna call this is a mock-up screen mock-up okay uh, you don't need to work with me if you cannot catch it up okay because I'll post this on the blackboard with the video and I'm gonna add another one so this will be I will call map this will hold the map here right and I'm gonna add another one. This I will call dashboard, right? And then we have the raw data. So this one we can just call it raw data, right? This thing, uh, let's say for the time being, I'm just gonna delete this thing. We don't need it, okay? You just have one sheet. So this is the raw data. So this is what we have right now. Are you guys with me? Okay. So I'm gonna add uh, 
here let's say this is analysis one I guess it is. so let's say let's do that uh, I'm gonna say let, let's say I'm gonna put a little box here it's always good to see what we are doing here so I guess insert let's say I'm gonna put this box here this particular shape to this will I'll be using for the mock-up yes <coughs> and say what's the purpose of this chart right so purpose of this chart is maybe to show sales performance against the target of five percent increase in sales say year over year right and then we have to show the link component yeah it's not it's not showing it i know okay so the link component is we're going to use let's say thermometer chart from chapter what chapter it is i don't know in the book uh, maybe Thirteen. You have to tell me the chapter because I want to know whether you have read the book, chapter ten, right? Yeah. Chapter ten, right? Yes. So this will uh, well in the marker basically you have to just uh, do this much. I'll show you. Yeah. This is gonna be. I just want to. yes i just want to be very clear what i'm doing here so yeah so this one i will put it on what do we call markup screen right that's my first question say so marker screen the first thing is going to be show okay are you guys with me does that make sense telling my boss that the first analysis that i'm doing yes is going to do that. yes and this will be the first chart on your dashboard you guys with me so in the map what you're going to be doing here is i'm going to say we're going to have some uh table of content here so i'm going to say tab and let's say range and let's say purpose purpose and i'm going to say link components okay so again uh, this uh, is kind of acting as a table of content for me right So let's say tab is uh, called first one is analysis one, right? Analysis one, right? What's the purpose here? Uh, I can copy some version of this there, or you can make it more clear if you want. Are you guys with me? So that's the purpose of that analysis there. Right, and what are the link component? Say from chapter ten. Are you guys with me? Mm -hmm. Right, and this one I can link it. I want to link this one to the analysis tab. So I'm just gonna go here. Can we do a uh, right click on it maybe? Okay hyperlink 
right? Mm -hmm. And then here, place in this document, right? And select this one. Right, so it's gonna put a link there. So basically, when you click on this one, it's gonna take you to that one. That's all this uh, map does basically. Okay, range we're gonna come back once we have done the analysis. Okay, so I'm gonna delete this one. Uh, let's go to the raw data and say insert pivot table, right? And I will say uh let's say existing worksheet so location is let's say this one somewhere here okay so it put a dash uh pivot table framework there i need to plot the sales right total sales so obviously that will go into value columns right now uh, uh, i need to plot it for year over year so I need the order date, right? So I'll put it here. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna massage this one a little bit here. Uh, for example, uh, I will right click here, go to group, right? And I'll say do it yearly instead of month, okay? So it's gonna do yearly sales for me. Wow, I did that the wrong <laughs> way. No, wow. don't need to do it. You can oh you can do all sorts of things here, you know. So you had to. Did you do that? You can also yes. Oh yes, yeah, so it is there. Right click on it. Go to group. Mm -hmm. You can do, let's say, quarters and years, month, quarter, and year as well. And it's going to do first wow. year, then quarter, and then month for you. So it's very easy, and then you can, when you plot it, it's even easier to compare the data. For example, uh, just to show you here, let's say I'm gonna group it and I'm gonna cancel the month part, and let's say I wanna do it quarter, right? So this is the one here. Uh, then if you plot the chart out of this one, you can compare the quarters over each year, okay? So for example here, I can say insert, let's say it's not as complicated as this looks so you know no, so. When you did it, I guess <laughs> so let's go to design where is the analyze here uh, where is the uh, okay please go away okay thank you so, uh, where is my uh, pivot chart right this one so if you do like that so if you see you know you can compare basically you know for over the period for each quarter it sums it up nicely you know and the sales and you can compare year over year okay although the purpose of this chart is not this one right now but this is just something extra to show you right so, so i'm going to delete this one Again, it's it's recorded. So if you want to go back, mm -hmm. you can see the details how exactly I did it. But I'll go back to the group here and just say, okay, I just need yearly. Okay. And then here, what I'm gonna do here is I'll go to the value fill setting. I'll say sum here, number format, currency, zero decimal places. Right. So that it looks a little nicer here. And then what I'm going to do here is I will copy this data here. Right? And because I don't want to place the chart using my pivot table, I want to create a new data. Jeff, you're saying it, right? So let's say I've copied this data and put it here somewhere. I'm gonna to go to right click it, paste spatial, right? I'll click on it. Let's say I want to transpose. Okay, so it's gonna do this transpose for me so that it's easy for me to now plot the chart based on this one. So that's not connected to the pivot table. No, it's not at all connected to the pivot table. Okay, so let's say I'm gonna delete this one here. I don't need this one. Uh, this one I'm gonna say actual sales maybe. 
actual sales, right? And they said this is targeted or target sales, right? Mm -hmm. So target sale is like, let's say, 5% year over year, okay? So first year, we don't have any target. So, so I'm just gonna say equals to whatever you have, we are meeting a target the first year, right? Second year, it will be equals to 1.05 times because it's 5% increase, right? Uh, from the previous year, right? So that's gonna be this one here. And then, yeah. Yes, 5% and whatever you do it, mention it there, you know? So 5% uh, does it matter? You know, just like 5%, 8%, 10%. Or two percent. You can really make it up, right? It's based on the data you have. The percent I'm saying, like the five percent, I just came up with that number. Yeah. It could be whatever percentage. Yeah, or uh, you know, it could be three percent, four percent. Right. So this one I will do here is right. So now we have this data set ready. And we can do the uh, thermometer chart here. So I will go here, insert, let's say, my cluster chart, right? I will go to the change chart type here, go to combo, right? And target, I still want the bar chart, but I want to put it on secondary axis. Right, so I will do that here, and then I will select this one. Uh, this is already covered, right? We covered like second week or so. So I'm going a little fast here. Okay, so this one I will go to format, format selection here. Let's say I want to decrease the gap a little bit, right? And then I want to go to fill here. Say I want to fill it solid. Change the color to maybe some gray and increase the transparency, right? So you are basically done with the thermometer chart here. And obviously I want to delete this thing here, increase the scale here. So let's say X is option here. So it's in, in the increment of 500,000, right? So let's make it uh, 1,000,000, so 1 million. So I'm just gonna add 10 here. So that looks better, right? Mm -hmm. And this one, you can just name it like yearly sales per four months, right? And then I'm gonna do copy this one. Uh, okay. So I'm just gonna copy this one and put it on my dashboard. Okay, just back to the way you named it. That's that's a projection, isn't it? Whatever you want to name, like uh, the, no, these are the projection. This is the comparison, right? Well, a target is what? Target was uh, whatever you said it here, right? Right. So target is a projection. Right? Yeah. Well, not necessarily it's a projection to mean what you're expecting. Forecasting, yeah. Forecasting yeah. versus a target to what the company is telling you. Yes. Okay, gotcha. Hopefully they line up. Companies like to set a target where your forecast isn't necessarily there. It's yes. Stretch goals. Yes, yes, always, <laughs> always, you know, always. Gotcha. Yeah. So the charts we're putting on the actual dashboard, we're kind of doing on other. Uh, yes, exactly like this. Exactly like this. Okay. And then if you go here, this is the range I use, right? C10 to G12. So I'll go here, I'll say I'm using C10 to G12. So that I know now what range. That looks so easy. It is easy. <laughs> this is the size span. This is next to be how the product goes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. This stuff will pop out somewhere. <laughs> but now it's going to be. I've been easy. doing it the wrong way. Now it's going to be easy yeah. watching you. Yeah, it's practice. You know, you have. I've been practicing years. You know, so that I I know. But you know, if you're doing it for the first time, you will struggle. But if you you know keep working on it, you know it's gonna just fly. Okay. 
Uh, you can convert this one into a bullet. Let's say this one uh, is, is going to be, you know, we can just convert this one to a bullet. Will that be okay? Yeah. So let's select this one. Uh, okay, select this guy here. Go to design. Okay, I'm going to select this one. That will be my bulleted target. Let's say. Okay, so I will just change the chart type here. I will say this one is, I want it line with the marker right and then i will select this one and i will say that i don't want any lines here right and that basically your bullet does that make sense to you so marker here is going to be whatever color you want like let's say you want solid fuel uh choose any color you want let's say maybe darker this one right and then what else they, we can do here so there's a size okay here building type let's say square increase the size right right yeah, and then you can do all sorts of bells and whistles depending on you know, is there anything to put the data labels on? It's up to you. You see your creativity. Okay. Whatever you feel like. I mean, yeah. but basically, if you're doing a chart like that, in the mind of, of someone reading the chart, they got to go over to the right, left side and kind of. Yeah. 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 So it, that's what I'm saying. That's where your creativity will come in the picture. All right. So, how you put it there? These are just the tools, but you have to make it more clear. Right. Jeff, did I answer your question? Okay, so we are done with this one. Uh, let's do another one here. Uh, uh, let's do. Uh, what did I have to credit for giving you the data set? But I want more data set though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want more. <laughs> <laughs> but you're already doing so good so you don't need to worry about it at all let's say uh, let's do total sale by a product category and customer segment so we see the raw data we have a product category here right and then we have a customer segment right so we want to see the sale by product category and the customer segment see which customer segment is kind of bringing in the sale for which kind of product subcategory or product product category for that matter okay and you know this one you know could be a simple uh, you can do a lot of bells and whistles here for example you can do uh, create a slicer here for the year you know or do other stuff or you can create the macro buttons if you wish so you can do a lot of things so let's do that so i will go uh insert here pivot table right go to the new worksheet yes and i will call this one as analysis two right and in the mock-up screen i'll just copy this guy save my work here put it here right and i will say here this one i'm gonna say i prepared this question like just before coming to the class so two Compare total sales by product category and customer segment. Right? Mm -hmm. so that's my thing there. So that my analysis tab, I'm just gonna grab it and move it here. Right? This so analysis tab too. We have to go by the sequencing here. So here I want total sales, that's there. And then I want product category, right? So let's say product category goes here, right? And then I want customer segment here. This basically tells me, you know, the sales by product category and the customer uh, segment. It's always good to give a good label here. So I'm just gonna do that here. I will just call it, this is, 
customer segment right and here i will call it product category right so far so good so you can always do some cleaning here i don't want to see this grand total i want to rather have a bland look so what i would do is i will go to the design here i'll go all the way up select this one it's a little bland i like it and then grand total i'll put it off i don't want grand total because we'll not use it in our charts right so i don't need that one here uh, again we have to go to value fill setting here uh, some number format currency to zero decimal places right so we have this data here right now uh, what we can do is we can just quickly create let's say uh, uh, let's say what we call pure chart right yeah I, I, sometimes you do no. So this time I want to do it. Okay. Uh, it doesn't hurt anything. Yeah, it doesn't hurt anything. Yeah, it doesn't hurt anything. So here I'll put it here, right? So I want this one. Say okay here, right? This is the same here. And I'm gonna to make it a little more interesting. What I can do is I can insert some slicer, right? So go to design analyze here, insert slicer, and I want to insert on the order date, right? So now if you select the date, it's going to show it for that particular thing. This one uh, is just showing you the range you can, uh, you can before and after. Uh, I haven't worked with it, so I don't know, but you know, you can feel free to you know, try it out. So what I'm going to do is maybe I can narrow it down a little bit here. No? uh jet this is what you were asking me right so we can just do it here a little shorter here right yeah so let's do that so i'm just gonna copy this one yeah how about if one of your product categories so outperforms the others and it, it makes the others you can't even see them on the bar chart yeah you have to i have no absolute answer for it you have to come up with some things so that they are comparable or even if you leave it like that at least it's gonna show the management that which one is doing very good all right so now you cannot adjust the scale like that bikes is just outperforms everybody as far as yeah and it makes Accessories just disappear. Yes, I see. I I I know what you're talking about. Okay, so but maybe right. maybe you can do is go one level up instead of doing product subcategory, just do product category. You know, so you know that might solve some problem. You know, but you know, I have no answer for that. That's where you have to, as a you know techie, you have to come up with some kind of ideas. So I'm gonna copy this one and put it on my dashboard. Right. Wow, why did it replace me? Okay, <laughs> yeah, actually, that was selected. You see that because of that, it did it right. No, uh, see what happened. Let me do it again. Okay, if this chart is already selected, and if you do control V, okay, hold on, this is what it is, right. No, the other one was already. This was before, right? No, that's one. Ah, this was before, right? Yeah. So if you copy this one, and if this is selected, then it's gonna put it on the top. It's just gonna replace it. I don't want that thing, so I'm just gonna click here outside, and then I'll do it here, right? Then I want this little thingy here as well. Copy this one. I'll put it here. And I'll just put it somewhere here. You had to play with the stuff, you know, how it looks like. And you didn't have to put that scroll bar on it when you show it. Yeah. It did itself. Yes. Okay. Okay. I was trying to figure out how to do scroll bars. Okay. This little thing is giving me trouble now. So 
second. Is it working? Okay. You had to play with it. I don't have any absolute answer. You know, uh, but here it works, right? Oh, you have to click on the button, right? So I wasn't clicking with this one. Yeah, can we have, right? can, can we assume that our executives know how to do this or do we have to put little notes about? Basically, you when you do this kind of stuff, you uh, provide a training session. Okay, so on there we don't have to say, no, 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 absolutely not. So this is my little second chart, right? <clears throat> I did it before, right? Nicely, packed it up. How did you do it before, right? No, it uh, when I did this thing, it made it small as well. Only if you have both selected. Ah, you are right. So this one is selected, and maybe I'm gonna press shift, select this one. Now it's gonna do the both. Ah, not so much, but now what the heck? We can always. You can play with it, you know, you know. Yeah, it, it shrinked it before, isn't it? Let's see, let's go back until like, it gives me. Okay, now it's not gonna give me, but play with it, come up with some ideas, but you know, this is the way to do it. Only a dashboard should only be one page, you shouldn't have to scroll up and down to be able to see it in one window. Uh, that's uh, that's going to be your poster page, okay? Right. So, so we, don't, we don't have to make everything fit in this view. No, you have to, you have to, you know. I don't want to leave this view here to make it really small thingy, you know, like this, you know. Don't say, do we have to? Yes. Otherwise, okay. otherwise you cannot. <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, you cannot show me eight charts, right? So, right. Uh, so, so it's going to be eight charts in this view. Yes. Now, my question is: desktops at home are different, different views. Like, if I'm yeah. on my desktop and mine looks eight, and you look at it in a laptop, it might not look like it. No, but basically, you know, do on a decent resolution. Like, if you're doing on a laptop. Do it on a laptop which has high resolution. That should work because most of the computers have high resolution nowadays. No, but as much as the screen you see, no, the screen, uh, the view of the screen depends on the pixel. And if you are working the old computer, let's say where you don't have high resolution, then you're gonna make it very small because when you open the same file in the high resolution, it's gonna look very small, very tiny. So. So use high like most of the laptops, current laptops, they are good enough. So when when did you buy that one? Is that a flat panel like this? Yes. Yeah, so it should be okay. Okay. It should be okay. That should not be any problem. Yeah, sometimes you have to just work with it many. I don't understand. It was uh, working so nicely, right? It fitted in so well. No, uh, when I did the, did you guys see that when I? Sh Let me stay there. You won't do it now, okay? Do we have to put the actual chart up there, or could you take a picture of it? No, you have to put the actual chart. Okay, but so you use the picture function you showed us. Yeah, that's one of the functions, but no. And that way you can reduce it. 
Yeah. No, but then it won't be dynamic. Oh. You see the point? We want to retain the dynamism. No. How about the size? If I okay, that guy won't be skill. Ah, see, now it's doing it now. Position, size, properties, move and size with cell. Okay, I'll just leave it up to you to do the main work. Okay, so that's one thing here. Uh, that's the dashboard, right? So in the map, you'll do okay, this is analysis two, right? And that's using let's say right click on it, hyperlink, place in this document, this one, right? And I'm using uh, like this is the range I'm using, right? So A3 to E7. A3 to E7. Okay. So this one is showing you what? Like a compare total sales by product category, right? and customer segment <coughs> using your filter right so again i'm just gonna right click on it and see format cell alignment wrap text right and then this will be using pivot chart right Chart with slicer from chapter 12 and 13. That's a random number. Okay. Does that make sense to you guys? So you have to know where chapters come from? Yeah, basically that tells me you have read the textbook. Yeah. Yeah. Where did you get that one for? You printed it. Okay. I keep posting a lot of things. Yeah. That's all. Yes. Yes. Right. Uh, raw data. Then again, uh, any other question you have that you want me to do, or should I do like a? You did some things like right now. You're just showing what you're just showing your raw data in a different format. Yes, that's all you have to do. Really, a decision making. Like you did some things that um, what if we have to do a what if? How do you do a what if with this? Mm -hmm. See, those are the tools and techniques you don't have to incorporate if you cannot. You see the point? Uh, we we put in a lot of stuff there to see how much of that you can use it. Yeah. So so it's up to you. You know, I, I will leave it very open. No, you don't have to use it if the condition doesn't permit. Or uh, sometimes you can come up with the ideas like using VLOOKUP function. To do something extra or what if function to do something extra. Uh, here, uh, don't do it then. Then don't do it. Uh, yes, I said it. I, I agree with you. Uh, the reason it happened, Jeff, you know, because we used to use a different data set throughout. And at the 11th hour, I changed the data set. And the reason I changed the data set was because looks like a lot of students started copying from the last semester. You know? Did you also so, I mean, I used the end and some, so you need a B or H or yeah. Something. See, if, if I force you, then you have to use it. You have to come up with something. For example, in this way, in this section, you want to use VLOOKUP? 
Let's do that. For example, yeah, okay, let's do that. For example, this is the data set given, right? Let's say, uh, uh, you had, you, you feel free to make assumptions. For example, here we have given this data set reason, right? This is the thing given for a manager, a reason you have given the manager, right? Uh, that's a that's a practice data set. The practice data set you're um, using. That's a, that was my practice data yeah, set. Yeah, yeah. I really should do good points for that. <laughs> you didn't read it though. <laughs> <laughs> so let's put it here. Right? I'm just gonna do it here. Okay, let's put it here. Okay, this is a small thing there. Okay, now how I'm gonna use the guys? You know, let me tell you one thing. You can do or use everything I said there. You have to come with an idea. If I'm flexible, I just want to help you. Okay. If you want me to stick to what's there, you know, I want to stick to it. You know, you come up with some uh, reasoning, and I I will give you the uh, thing as well. Like you know, okay, this is the if you're stuck with the what if, let's figure it out how we can use what if together. The theory says that's twenty points. Yeah. So uh, and then uh, for the lookup, and now let's figure it out how we can use the lookup. I'll put something in the data set so that so let's let me do this. Let's stick to what's been said there, okay? So that all of us be on the same page, and I'll find the ways uh, we to include all those things, okay? Okay? And please, you also find ideas, okay? As I said, it's a new data set, okay? So uh, I, you know, we need to work it together. But uh, doing here, let's say here, uh, how would I use the VLOOKUP here? For example, I'm gonna say here, let's say I want to add a manager column, right? Mm -hmm. Manager column here. Uh, I'll show you the use of what if as well, okay? How we can use what if. And then let's stick to that thing. For example, here, uh, what I want to do is I know the region, right? But I want to populate the data set with the manager. Are you guys with me? So what I'm going to do is simplest way is use, we can do it VLOOKUP or we can do uh, if statement, whatever you like. But VLOOKUP is better in this case. So here, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say equals uh, VLOOKUP, right? Uh, my lookup value table array. Yeah. Lookup value is going to be uh, what is that? Uh, region, right? So region is this one, right? No. Uh, Hold on, is that region? Hold on, let me just cross it. Region central, east, south, west. So that's the region, right? So, I, how come I don't see those things here? Also, so maybe some region doesn't have the manager. Okay, looks like that. So, that's quite possible. Sometimes you don't have the data, right? So let's say whatever we have. So, I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna look for this region where is that this one right i'm going to look for this thing and uh, we look up look for this one right yes uh, i'm adding another column that will populate the data set with the manager needs okay yes uh, this was this came with the data set, but for your uh, purpose, you can do that. You can make it up. <laughs> okay. Well, we have customer, I think, on that one. Yeah, but uh, so yeah, no, no, no. You can look up your. You can, you can, you can look up to look up your. Hold on, in. hold on. Let me let me take care of it. Okay, mm -hmm. because I understood your problem now. Mm -hmm. I will take care of it. I'll give you a small table like this. And it may not be the customer name, it could be something else. Okay. Oh, so you're gonna give us some yes, I will give you the information. Okay. I will give you the information. So you need the information for VLOOKUP, you need the information for what if, what if analysis? No, you need the if statement, right? What yeah, if what if function. If function, right? No, I need what if. It says what if function. But I think you just said yeah. no, there's a what if function. Yeah, what if, what if formula is basically you have to uh, 
do what if analysis right and that could be in a separate analysis sheet you can do that you have to come up with what if you would change uh, the pricing from $10 to $15 does it affect the sales okay so yeah we did that what if analysis we did that in class but we didn't do it okay. we started with already have already have it yes yes point yes you didn't start from the yes data. okay let's do the vlookup and then we'll see okay. so, uh, we need to think about something there so here uh jeff you with me now right so here we're gonna do v look up here see region here Okay, and then I'm gonna use this data set, right? Especially this data set here. Fix it, right? And I want the value from second column, right? And false, so I want to do the exact match. Right? So obviously you don't have all of them, but you might have some of them. See here, Williams is there. Again, this is just showcasing the use of VLOOKUP. For the data set, I will create something there, okay? To, uh, this you can, you can use in analysis, right? For example, I want to show the sales by uh, salesperson or manager. Who's, who's the person who's bringing me most of the revenue? Does that make sense? But how do you know we did it? You know, like in our dashboard, we, we can see that we. You will create a, a analysis sheet like that, right? So, if, what, for example, you will insert. Let's say with this one, I will insert another pivot table. Okay. Let's say this one, right? And this will I will move it here. Say analysis. Three, right? And let's say you want it to be sales here, right? Oh, you do the sales here, and it, then and the manager. Show it in some kind of yeah. Okay. So it looks like there is one guy. I don't know why it's showing just one. Maybe we did not. The region may not be a good one there. Yeah. No, but we need to find. This is like I just doing it on the spot. So yeah. you know. You can't expect me to be perfect here. <laughs> so, but I'll go back and mess with the data and came up with all those stuff there. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so likewise, you know, you have to just keep continuing, you know. So, does this help? Right. And any more questions here? You want me to do more charting? You want to do any particular chart here? <laughs> you want what if right so uh, we will think about it like let me stop the recording and then we can think about it because it's gonna take time we need to uh, create a situation right so before that any other charting you want to do here that we can do quickly or you are good to go now do we use all the formulas and add them to basically another worksheet Yes, keep uh, yeah, because most of the V lookup or what if uh, what if I need to see, but if statement, for example, how we can use the if statement, right? So, for example, you can come up with another uh, uh, per like indicator, like uh, the sale performance, let's say, good, uh, you know, excellent, good or bad, okay, depending on the sale range. If the sales is about one million dollar. It was a good order, something like that. Does that make sense to you? Could Why? You have just embedded an if statement yeah, here. That yeah, here. For example, so here. You could have just made an if statement in that to make it not show in it. If. No, you. The problem here is uh, that region. No, the region is a problem here somehow. Uh, well, it's not in the chart. That's why. It's not in the. It's not in so the chart. Yeah. The MF, uh, For example, it has a lot of things there. No, we cannot use what if uh, if statement there. Because it's not gonna find the these values which is not there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
if it happens. Yeah. If not, if yeah, not. exactly. For example, Atlantic West, Ontario. So I need to see these things there. Or we can come up with some name. Uh, for example, uh, analysis sheet, let's go back here. Let's throw this one off. And we want the region, right? So we know that we have these regions, right? Atlantic, uh, this one. So let's do this one. Like, for example, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to copy this guy, right? I'll go to the raw data here. Let's say I'm going to do just the values there, OK? So I guess it solves my problem. I'm just going to copy this guy, put it here, right? Now you get all the values, right? Mm -hmm. So now, like, uh, that was an easy fix, but but at least we don't see those stupid values there anymore, right? Mm -hmm. So, for example, how would you use if statement here? Let's say, uh, let's say the sales, right? Like, for example, sale, right? For example, the the easiest way to do is, you know, I always go here and I'm just going to put the sales here and do the data in descending order, let's say. Okay. So I know the highest value is 89,000, right? So, so let's come up with these three categories from 0 to 100,000, right? So let's say the sale is uh, greater than... 75, we'll say, you know, excellent deal, right? If it is greater than 25, we'll say good. If it is, otherwise, if it is less than equals to 25, we'll say average. Does that make sense to you? Right? So here, what we're going to do here is, I will go to the raw data here again. We'll simply add, uh, this thing so what do you what do you want to call this one uh sale performance right here i'm gonna say equals if right so if this sales is sales is greater than 75,000, right? Show me excellent, right? And then another nested if. What is the actor that you want the actor that for you? Oh, that's the quotation. I mean, quotation. The quotation, yeah. That's the quotation. So F2 is greater than 25. Print what? Good, right? Otherwise, I'm just going to say default is average, right? So now, just use a, you know, if statement for that matter. And we have to run some kind of chart for that data. To yeah. That yeah. Yeah. But you demonstrated me the use of if statement, so you don't need to use the chart. No. I mean, but yeah. how would you know the if statement? I'll go to the data. I will go to the data here. Oh, we and don't see. have to put it on a dashboard and act into the if statement somewhere. No, see, you have you see a lot of things are there. How you're gonna put the puzzle together is up to you. But you demonstrated to me the use of each statement in the analysis, right? So no, I don't understand your instructions because you told us you should be able to look at our dashboard and know exactly what we do. Yes. So if we did an if statement somewhere in the analysis, somewhere looking at our dashboard, they could tell you that I have if statement. The dashboard will tell me the overall picture of your analysis. Okay, you will be doing tons of analysis there. You cannot put everything on the dashboard. Okay. okay so how we get graded for the function? I, because I will go to the data set and see what you did. I will go through every sheet. Okay, you go through. Every yes. Sheet. Okay. Oh, yes, definitely. Okay, I will go to every sheet. Uh, I just need to see whether you used it or not, okay, in your analysis. And uh, having said that, if you want to create a chart based on that one, feel free to do it. 
And if you don't, you'll still see that we. Yes. Kind of oh yes, I will see. Okay. I will. I will hold that sheet in front of me, you know, and then I'll go point by point. I'll go to every sheet and grading. You know, usually if I make any mistake, let's say I give you zero point for what if, and you did it. So it's not because maybe you know I might have overlooked it or something. So you <laughs> just see it and let me know. I'll update the points. Okay. <laughs> So what if you can just do a if statement? No, what if is different? I will I will we'll think about it. Okay. <laughs> Jeff said. Okay. I was documenting everything I did that was required under the list components. I would put, uh, you know, I did a pivot table and also use the what if function or the function that's good. sub function. Yeah, that's good. That way, I thought that's what that was that's for. That's what it is meant. That's what I was asking, did we have to put it on here? If you create the analysis tab separately for that, you can do that. Uh, let's do that. You know, you can put additional tabs here. For example, uh, for example, let's say, this again, I'm just coming on the spot, okay? And I want to give you flexibility. That's the reason I'm saying doing this thing, okay? So for example, here I'm gonna say, let's say you did not create any chart based on if statement. So I'm gonna say here, raw data, okay? So, uh, give me the column name. Let's say that column was what? V, this is gonna make it easy for me to grade, right? So column is V1 to V60,000, right? So purpose is use if statement, right? And then you just say, you know, using if statement, statement from chat. This is just an example, okay? That makes sense? You know? So as I said, it's very difficult to give you, you know, very straightforward thing, okay? These things are very flexible, you know? And uh, when I grade, I'll be very flexible as well. You know, so a lot of things we put it out there, but usually we are very flexible grading. Okay. Uh, does that help you guys? We just realized we don't have to do all these things because they add up to more than 100 points. <laughs> I thought we had to do all of these. <laughs> usually we are very flexible, you know, it's, okay, you know we put it so just, many things out there. You know, you you some of them. Then you can just order it. So I'm just trying yes. to get yes. some of them done. I thought we had to do examples of everything you had on it. I just noticed by the point. Yeah, uh, if, I, if I tell you one thing, guys, you know, uh, do as much as you can. We are very flexible grading, you know. Uh, if you want to be very particular kind of a guy, stick to it. I don't mind. Okay, so Jeff, do one thing. Let's do one thing. Let's stick to it. Uh, I, I, I hate ambiguity as well. Okay, for that matter. So here is what I'm gonna do. Uh, let me go back and revise that thing and with the match into the data set. Okay? okay. And I will post the detailed instructions on the blackboard. You guys revise it for the next two days and come back to me with the questions. Okay, okay. so you're gonna get this another one again. No, this will be there. I will accordingly manipulate the data set. Okay. So this is this holds true as is so that you're not changing anything here. Okay. okay. And I'll make sure that you can do all those things using data set. Okay, you just want to add to the data set. You're not going to give us a new data set. No, I will not. <laughs> yeah, I will not. Okay. And, okay. Yeah, but but even even if you use it, using new data set is is going to take that much time. I don't think so. You already well, know how to use it. Okay. No, we'll stick to the same data set. We'll stick to the same rubric. Okay. So, so that there should not be any ambiguity. And I'll, when I'll grade it, I'll go point by point using that one. Okay. And as I said, the data set is new. If I cannot accommodate some of those things, I will remove it from there. And I, I guess you should be okay with that. Yeah. Why? Yes. When are you going to have the new rubric posted? As I said, give me two days. Okay. Most of the I'll work tomorrow on it. 99% uh, is going to be the same thing, you know, just few changes here and there, okay, so there won't be any major change. 
I'm just trying to figure because I took the bar off so I can work on this. You still can work on it. Like I just said, 99 percent is not going to cheat. See, you're not going to use your first chart using if statement, right? There are a ton of other things to work on. Uh, so you work on other things, and those little things, I'll do it. And the prototype is just so you can give us feedback. Yes. Before we do the final thing. Yes. So yes. the um, the last one you have counted the the component for grade. Of A. I like A. Yeah, so do some so advanced charting. Advanced macro. What's the difference between a regular macro and an advanced macro? Advanced macro, uh, it, it goes more in depth, maybe. You can do a lot of things using macro. You can just do simple things. Like uh, the one we did, like, you know, simple thing was showing the data bar uh, on and off. That's, That's very simple. That's simple. So, you yeah. Know Advances more. Advances, right? yeah, yeah. How to show more? How are you gonna do it? What are you gonna do? It's up to you. Okay. I yeah. Got one. I just want to show you. Yeah. Let me stop the recording here.